What's up everybody, I'm back in the shop and I'm so happy to have that CNC set up and ready to go and now I just want to start building some projects. I have a few goals in mind, one of which is to get back to my roots building small boxes like I did when I was first learning woodworking. This little box is one of the very first ones that I ever built and it's got all kinds of problems including this lid that ended up shaped like a potato chip and doesn't close all the way, it leaves a huge gap here. But I leave this on the top shelf in my garage just as a reminder of A, kind of where I started and B, that I always have something to learn on every project. Project. For these first couple boxes I want to build with the new CNC machine, I plan on keeping the design really simple. For one thing, I'm still getting to know that machine, but in terms of software, I really want to force myself how to use Fusion 360. I've played around with Fusion 360 a little bit over the last few weeks, but I have yet to actually use it for a real project. So I know it's going to slow me down, but I just want to rip that band-aid off and jump right into it so that I can keep learning and then down the road it'll be a more powerful tool for me. So I'm planning on using this pretty ugly chunk of walnut. Nothing fancy for this first one, but I just wanna make a square box with some rounded edges to it. But this should be big enough for two boxes because if you're setting up something for the CNC, you may as well duplicate it. So the first thing I need to do is get this all milled up nice and square so that I know the exact dimensions and then I can start designing my box. So I've been playing around with the Fusion 360 software for a couple months now, but I feel like this last week I finally had a chance to dig in and I actually feel like I'm getting comfortable enough to build something in that program and then export it for the CNC machine. As far as I can tell, everything looks pretty good, but fingers crossed, here we go. Okay, so that went amazingly well. I'm so stoked right now. So I'm just gonna move the access over to the other side of the same piece of wood, run the program again, and cut my second box.
All right, so I've got the stock for the lid pieces clamped down now, and all of the tool paths for this are almost identical to the ones for the actual box pieces. So hopefully this goes just as smoothly. All right, so this is the moment of truth. Let's see if this thing fits. So I'm really happy with these for the first project that I designed in Fusion. I had a little bit of an issue with the tolerance and I wasn't sure if that was from my tool paths um, in the software side of things or if it was with the actual machine. I don't know if you can see this. Let me zoom in on this for you. But it's just not a real tight fit like I designed it to be. So what that means is that the lid just falls right off of it. So I looked a little closer and it turns out that there's probably five or six thousandths of an inch of runout on this router bit, but it's not the bit itself. It's actually the cullet. So I contacted Carbide 3D on their customer service line and I got a real human right away on the phone. They said this is a known issue for the first generation of Carbide 3D router motors that they're sending out with the new Shape Ocos and they were gonna actually overnight me a brand new high precision cullet so that I can get back in business right away. So thanks again, Carbide3D, you guys rock. So for now, I'm gonna call this a win because I'm still working out some of the bugs of the machine, learn more about that, learn a ton about Fusion 360, designed and exported my first project in that program and sent it to my new friend Blender and he built me this box. So I'm gonna keep it simple, just sand and finish it and call this thing done. Okay, so I know that I said I was just gonna sand and finish these and be done with them, but after I did that, I just figured they were too pretty to call them an experiment and leave it at that. So I got an idea that I think will not only take these little boxes to the next level, but it'll be perfect for a project that was built almost entirely on a CNC machine.
A huge thank you to my top supporters on Patreon. Swedish Nuts, Tud Duggerty, Antonio Magtoto, Robert Bonowski, Woodby Nate, Felix, and Mark Yates. Hopefully I've pronounced your name right. If you want to support me and get a shout out at the end of one of these videos, just find me on Patreon. See you later.